I grew up in an environment um, that was actually pretty, what today would be considered pretty, pretty normal. Um, my father was taught kinesiology, reflexology, and we lived an organic life. Um, we did all of those things that today would be considered new and, and traditional or odd. Um, and as a kid, I didn't appreciate it. Um, I, I uh, ran around with my friends and, you know, I, I, I felt like the odd kid because um, we didn't eat out at hamburger joints or go to eat at, at restaurants where other people ate. Um, it, but something in me knew there was something good about what we were doing, what I was doing as a kid, but, but I just felt, as a teenager, you felt different, you're odd. Um, and I grew up um, playing sports. Um, I, I was pretty much the tomboy in the house. I, I played football more than the boys on our street. Um, did all those things that, that my dad did. He taught me how to throw a baseball. He taught me how to kick a soccer ball. Um, I can probably kick a football and throw a football further than most guys um, that were my age. But in my age group, at, you know, at the time I was growing up, football for girls just didn't happen. It wasn't anything you could get, do. So I kind of lost, lost, uh, lost a uh, sense of who I was, I think, because I started doing the things that everybody else thought I should be doing um, and created um, this kind of withdrawn person for a very long time um, until I decided that food was interesting to me. Um, I went to a, um, um, a symposium, I guess you'd call it, where my dad um, was teaching um, a lecture at one of the universities and they ha were having a, a big food rally for this group at the time. Um, I, I, it's a long time ago, so I don't really remember the name of it or anything like that. But I, I met um, chefs and I met people that were involved in food and nutrition. Um, and I was really interested in that. Um, and this was, I was probably 17 at this time. Um, and so I, I, I decided, well, maybe this is the direction I need to go with my life. So I pursued a little bit further. I went to work in Yellowstone National Park, which um, as, a, as a cook, uh, which was what my, basically my first really full-time job. I hired, they hired me over the phone um, and said, um, we want you to cook for us at Canyon location. You'll be an employee dining room cook. And I was like, okay, cool, sounds great. I get to go to Yellowstone, which I'd grown up as a kid. I'm from Seattle originally, so um, the western, western states are very familiar to me and a lot of my family lives in that, in that area. So it was a really a fun, um, I thought it was going to be a really fun experience. And it turned out to be, um, turned out to be um, a, an opportunity because the director of the program, um, or, the, or my boss basically, was also the culinary instructor at the University of Montana. So I got on the job training and all at once, and I was really quite, um, it was like I came out of my shell. Uh, it was like all of a sudden I was doing things that were exciting and different to me, um, and, and it clicked. Um, long story short, after that experience, um, I decided to go to culinary school, um, and I ended up going um, across the country to Kentucky, which I'd never been to, and, and I decided that was the newest adventure for me and I, and I experienced um, when I got to the school what was really fascinating to me was I was one of two women um, that were at the school the rest of my classmates were all men um, and there was the only instructor in the program that was a woman was the nutrition instructor um, and so I kind of it was almost and I was away from home and you were you know you're experiencing all these strange strange um, accents and strange people and and learning um, to uh, create um, something for yourself and and you uh, pull in as much as you can from what you've learned growing up and I so when I got into the um, program and really engaged with the nutritionist and I and I realized that this is what I wanted to do and one of the programs 
um, directors um, hooked me up with learning more about the nutritional side of things. And I, and today, um, I'm going to jump ahead because I know I'm running out of time. <laughs> um, the, um, one of the things that, that promoted me, pushed me to do what I'm doing today is that I asked a brother at the age of 17 during all of this um, to lymphoma. And one of the things that was really important to me at that point um, was this wasn't right. Um, th there's got to be a better way. And I know now that there's a better way. Um, that there are plenty of ways to change the way people are eating so that we can avoid getting things like cancer, diabetes, heart disease. Um, and what I do now is I teach people how to bring it home, how to change their relationship with food, how to engage their entire life into how they eat and consume their food. <laughs>